All right, so I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan, right? Um, the sequels, the prequels, the main trilogy, they're all pretty good. I love them all. They're all pretty fucking fire, spectacular, whatever you want to say, right? But something that is just, like, infallibly good, something that is just objectively enjoyable is The Mandalorian. Now, thankfully, and the reason why I'm not too, like, frightened or too, you know, worried about today's news is... The Mandalorian isn't made good by its actors and actresses. That might be a part of it, yes, but I mean, the writing, the storytelling, the graphics, like everything about it, aside from the characters and the actors, is just absolutely amazing in The Mandalorian, which is why I'm not too worried about today's news that um, Gina Carano actually got fired for... I mean, in my opinion, Holocaust denial, it's on It's on the spectrum of Holocaust denial. It's not outright saying like, oh, well, six million, that, that seems like a pretty large number. Doesn't seem like that could actually happen. Or saying some shit like, where they talk about like the Zyklon B, like the gas pretty much that was used to um, fucking do the job basically. And they go, um, yeah, um, actually it's not possible for Zyklon B to kill that many people, even though that's, like, scientifically not true. Yeah, Holocaust denial overall, pretty fucking stupid. Holocaust did happen. We have testimonies from tons of, you know, Jewish people, tons of people that were in the Holocaust, and to, um, to deny it is pretty much to make a baseless claim when there is ton- there's mountains of evidence um, pointing in the other direction. So what she said was, she said some shit like, how is hating someone for being a Jew even any different from hating someone because of their political opinion? Once again, I could give like 20 reasons why this is just an offhanded, stupid, inconsistent, just really dumb thing to say. Um, actually, we'll pull it up just to be um, fair. Hold up, hold up, here it is, here it is. Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even children. Whew. Because history is edited. History is edited. Um, okay. Bit Holocaust denial -y. Most people today don't realize that to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could, could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighborhoods hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different for, from hating someone for having political views? <sighs> okay, so... One, the U.S. government is not autocratic, so even if they wanted to, um, you know, influence all their, uh, all the, um, the people to hate one particular group, which they kind of do, but it's both ways. It's not like a majority on a minority, and also the majority is running the government. Conservatives aren't under, like, any real threat here of being, like, round up and thrown in, like, concentration camps. Um, I think that typically left-leaning people don't really care to unite with conservatives but it's like this is just a wild comparison too and the reason that she kind of got hate for this in the first place is because this could be offensive right and from disney's point of view i could totally understand that um they don't want someone being offensive like this all the fucking time on their platform so yeah today now we're gonna get onto disney's point of view and why i think disney was in the right here so it's kind of understood that you shouldn't say certain things and there's going to be punishments for saying certain things like um there's an easy equivalence to this and it's weed i don't think smoking weed is morally wrong or anything but it's understood that if you smoke weed there's going to be punishments for it at least in some states that being said i don't agree with gina or even think that what she said is morally excusable and we'll get to that in a second but even if disney's contract was for you to just like not say something that is completely harmless like banana monkey ape 24 and then you say banana monkey ape 24 and Disney fires you, I'm not going to condemn Disney. I was watching a Boogie 2988 video, and apparently Gina Carano had been doing this stuff on social media for weeks and weeks and weeks, and it was constantly a problem, and Disney was always trying to stop it and trying to say, hey, we like having you as Cara Dune on Mandalorian. Please shut the fuck up on Twitter, and, you know, maybe you get to keep your job, and she just kept going and going. So, obviously, it's like, this is what you have to do with shit employees. Either way, if... Free speech was completely a part of Disney's contract, Disney's little package, right? I would still understand if they didn't want to have a Holocaust denier on their platform. I mean, it's pretty fucking easy thing to not want. All right, so we're on Boogie298's video right here. Um, So it looks like she's been doing this shit for a while. Like she did the beep boop bop, like fucking trans 
bio pronouns instead of just doing like she, her, or he, him. She repeated the conspiracy theory that Jeffrey Epstein didn't die by suicide. Somewhere in here, in this boogie video, it said that she, like, denied the existence of COVID-19. Like, if this is someone that's going to be doing this shit, you warn them to stop. It's a whole thing, and she keeps doing it. It's like, okay, well, you can just fuck off. I would totally understand that from Disney's perspective. But yeah, um, ultimately, I'm okay with Gina Carano getting fired. Plus, I didn't even mention this aspect, but she is a big, like, public influencer. And to spread conspiracy theories, like, for one, Holocaust denial. For two, COVID-19 isn't real. For three, like... Jeffrey Epstein like to do these conspiracy theories could potentially have massive harm to society so I I mean like I mean I could definitely see an argument for banning her even if she didn't work for Disney and there was no like set of rules she had to abide by but yeah if you guys did enjoy the video today I would enjoy a like and subscribe and have a good one peace peace and stay dang bye